Here at Tormach, we love sharing our customer stories. So here's Link Product Development, who's doing some really interesting engineering. So my name is Mark Hanchak. I am the founder of Link Product Development here in Denver, Colorado. So we're a product design firm. We do everything from concept ideation all the way through to manufacturing support. So our clients come to us with everything from a sketch on the back of a napkin all the way to we've got a, a product that has an issue with it and we can't solve this. So we need a creative solution to figure out how to make this work. Um, so we get a wide range of different clients out. Yeah, so my favorite project that we did was uh, a children's toy. So we did an eco-friendly um, toy that was designed here in Colorado. Some of the things that we've designed has helped cancer patients, you know, so that's been good. Uh, concussion injuries, you know. Uh, there's a lot of pitfalls along the product development process that a lot of people fall into. And so I kind of felt like this was a good service to get into to help these people out, avoid those pitfalls and eventually become successful in their products. So what the 1100 has done for us is it's allowed us to circumvent all of these long lead times that we've seen with third-party machine shops. So when we have a, a design that we want to go and get prototypes, sometimes we're waiting 12 to 14 weeks to get it, and that's tough on our clients. So this machine allows us to very quickly make the part, realize what it looks like, test it right there, and it just speeds up the whole process. But I think as more and more, like, like manufacturing technology tools come available to people like the Tormach, like the 3D printers. Um, it kind of sparks more and more business for companies like us that are there to help those people out. Sometimes the technology and the tools that, that people have access to kind of make it dangerous because they haven't gone through all of the, the proper engineering and design for manufacturability steps. It's very easy to design something in SolidWorks now and you can have a part that looks like, hey, it's ready to go to manufacturing and there's no DFM to it, it's really tough, you know, so um, in the same way with 3D printers, 3D printers will allow you to make anything, you know, and so sometimes the technology and the tools that, that people have access to kind of make it dangerous because they haven't gone through all of the, the proper engineering and design for manufacturability steps, so that's where we need to step in and kind of help out there, so. The one thing I do like about Tormach is it's almost like a one-stop shop for all of the tooling needs, you know? So you guys have tools online, you have all of the holders, you know, the TTS system is great. Um, there's a lot of other, you know, things on there that um, instead of going to like another, you know, online company to go buy this, that, or the other thing, you guys have all of that in one spot, which is pretty cool, actually. So the machine is really well put together. I mean, it's, I like how compact and tidy it is, and, and you guys have done a really good job of actually Getting all the full features, uh, it's basically a fully functioning large CNC machine in a smaller package, which fits well in a space like us because we didn't have the real estate for a very large cost, you know. Um, but it's, um, yeah, it's, I don't know, it's super tidy. I like it. Yeah. I've, yeah, I've actually seen it over my career where, you know, you've got this separation of engineer and, and machinist, and it's, uh, it's contentious at times. But because there's, because the tools are uh, more readily available to both parties, they start to kind of bridge the gap a little bit and one understands the other and it actually makes things more efficient. So uh, there's this mutual respect now between like the machinist and the engineer as the engineer kind of goes, hey, it's really hard to machine stuff. It's, it's tough to difficult, or it's difficult to get to like, you know, that fourth axis point here, or, you know, these undercuts and so on and so forth. So it makes the engineer a little bit more, it's like the engineer can now empathize the, the, the problems that the machinist has always had. And then the machinist can kind of understand what the engineer is trying to get to. And so they kind of help each other out in that way. So it, yeah, so it can be good. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for watching. Check out all of our latest videos here. And for more metalworking tips, tricks, and stories, subscribe to the YouTube channel.